BC Libraries includes a total of seven libraries. O'Neill is the main library for arts and sciences, and there are six special libraries. We have robust collections you're welcome to browse and borrow, but our most important feature is our staff, including specialist librarians for every subject of study. We're here to help. Ask us anything. At O'Neill's Circulation Desk, you can check out books, technology, and miscellaneous items such as umbrellas and bicycles. Though the physical reference desk is temporarily closed, we are here for you virtually. Use our chat or email reference services to connect with library experts. Also available virtually are research guides created by subject librarians. They're a great place to start exploring resources. When you need more help, contact information and chat are just a click away. On the main entrance floor, O'Neill Level 3, is a variety of study spaces. Don't worry, we'll have our book processing cleared away by the time you're here. Also available on O'Neill Level 3, just past the sunny atrium stairs are printing, scanning, and help with personal computers by appointment. Interlibrary loan is fast and free. We borrow material from all over the world. ILL also fulfills your requests for scans of articles and book chapters. Our print collections are shelved according to the Library of Congress, or LC, call number system. About 40% of our collection has been made available online while COVID-19 limits access. Those volumes can be browsed and looked at, but not checked out at this time. As conditions change, watch for changing policies at library.bc.edu slash services update. We also have a significant print reference collection, which includes encyclopedias, dictionaries, directories, handbooks, commentaries, and biographical sources. Most of our periodicals are available electronically. Our subscriptions to the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, and Washington Post are especially popular. We do still subscribe to print versions of some journals and newspapers, also available on O'Neill Level 3. The media collection includes subject-related and popular films on DVD, and music in an array of genres on CD. The collection is open for browsing, and materials may be checked out. The popular collection in the O'Neill Lobby includes contemporary fiction, nonfiction, and film, intended for leisure reading and viewing. On O'Neill Level 2 is our digital studio, where you can use specialized software to explore resources for analyzing data and creating digital media. In the Connors Family Learning Center on Level 2 near the digital studio, you can attend seminars on college teaching, higher learning, and academic life. Also on Level 2, the Center for Teaching Excellence, the CTE, sponsors events, seminars, grant programs and awards, and actively cooperates with Boston College schools and departments to support their efforts to enhance and review teaching. In spite of the digital age, many resources are still on microfilm or microfiche. You can find them on O'Neill Level 1 in the microforms area. Also on Level 1 are book displays of graphic novels and new books, a gallery space, a collaborative study area, additional printers, a service checkout desk, and of course the night book drop next to the first floor entrance. On Level 4 you'll find the biggest portion of our collection area, E to P in Library of Congress call numbers, study spaces, quiet study space, and the Graduate Student Study Lounge. On Level 5 are collections A through D, group study rooms, quiet study, a food-free space, and a new study area both for group and solo study. I hope you don't have the impression that there's only one library. There are four others on the Chestnut Hill campus, another in Brighton, and of course the Law Library on the Newton campus, which is part of the BC Law School. The Theology and Ministry Library, the TML, on the Brighton campus serves the School of Theology and Ministry, STM, and St. John's Seminary, SJS. It has a collection especially rich in Catholic theology and history and resources in the New Testament. A hallmark example of mid-1960s architecture, the TML features a beautiful atrium where exhibits, receptions, formal dinners, prayer services, and performances are routinely hosted, 
four classrooms in regular use by the STM, and an auditorium for small-scale theater productions, concerts, and guest lectures. Bapst Library, an English collegiate Gothic building, supports the interdisciplinary teaching and research needs of faculty and students in the areas of art, architecture, museum studies, and photography. The stained glass windows in Gargan Hall illustrate major courses of study in Jesuit colleges and universities. There are approximately 400 quiet study spaces in a combination of individual carrels and tables. Located in the basement of McGuinn Hall, the Social Work Library provides collections and research assistance on subjects including social work, social welfare, psychotherapy, and mental health. You can also find printers, a scanner, and checkout laptops. Find them at library.bc.edu slash socialwork. The Educational Resource Center, the ERC, is an academic curriculum library. The materials housed here facilitate theory to practice, including diverse instructional and curricular materials like textbooks, best practices, teaching strategies, manipulatives, children's literature, and educational technology. There are also materials available for practicing school counselors. Thanks for joining us on this tour. If you remember one thing, it's this. The most important feature is our staff. We're here to help. Ask us anything. We look forward to meeting and working with you. Oh, and by the way, the John J. Burns Special Collections Library made an introductory video of their own. Be sure to watch that one, too. Links for everything mentioned in this video are in the video summary. Welcome to this virtual tour of our main library on Campus West. We hope this will help get you started using our services, and if you have any questions, you can always get in touch with us. Our contact details are in the description below, along with a link to another video about how to use our services if you can't visit us in person. The library has three buildings. The Morell in the middle, with the Burton and the Fairhurst on either side. At the moment, they're open 8am until midnight. You'll get into all of them by going through the main entrance on the ground floor of the Morel. Two things you'll need with you are your university card to get in and out and a face covering unless you're exempt from wearing one. When you arrive, you'll be greeted by a member of staff who'll help you get where you need to go. If you're just here to browse the shelves, borrow and return books or use the printers, you can come in without a booking. If you're here to study, you'll need to book your study space online before you come at bit.ly slash libstudyspaces. Socially distant study spaces are one of the many things we're doing to keep students and staff safe during the pandemic. Another is quarantining your books for three days when you return them. On the right, when you go through the turnstiles, is the library help desk. Please do come and ask us questions. It's a huge library and there's a lot to get your head around. We're very happy to help in any way we can. If you continue past the help desk, you'll get to the Burton. This is the most traditional space in the library and is ideal if you want a silent working environment with lots of natural light. The Burton also contains the Borthwick Institute for Archives. We'll put a link below with more information about the Borthwick and what they can offer you. If you turn left from the Morel when you come in, you'll get to the Fairhurst, which has PCs, AV material, the music library, lots of study spaces and a louder atmosphere. It also has a student kitchen and some places you can eat food you've brought with you. When you're booking study space online, you can choose whichever building and type of learning space works best for you. The Morel is a little like a mixture of the other two. There are silent parts, quiet parts and slightly louder parts. It also contains the vast majority of our books. We try and buy ebooks wherever possible. We have literally hundreds of thousands of them. But there will be times when you'll need to use print items which are spread over the three upper floors of the Morel. The books are arranged by subject, generally the social sciences are on the first floor, the arts and humanities on the second floor, and the sciences are on the top floor. You can find out what we have, whether it's online or in print, and where to get it using yoursearch.york.ac.uk. Just type in your keywords and it will show you books, journals, databases, government reports, archive materials, and a lot more. If all the copies are already on loan, you can request it via your search. You can borrow 75 items at a time, but don't take that as a challenge. Check your emails to see when your books are due back. Your reading lists in the VLE will link to most of the books and articles you need at first. 
but when you need to do more independent research, a good place to start is the subject guides. There's one for every department, put together by your academic liaison librarian, and they bring together all the useful resources for your subject. You'll be able to access most of our online materials, not just on campus, but anywhere in the world you've got the internet. Just make sure you follow the links from your search and the subject guides to find the resources so they know you're from York and they give you the access that you should have. We hope you found this virtual tour useful. Keep in mind that this library is our biggest site, but not our only one. We also have a library at Kings Manor and a library at York Minster, both in the city centre, and a learning space in the Piazza building on Campus East. Follow-up questions are strongly encouraged via email, chat, phone or Twitter. Search UOY Tips across social media and Google for lots of useful ideas to get started. And welcome to York.